think I'll have it running in another week or so. Well, I actually did uh, clean the mill off, uh, but I've had a couple of projects uh, since I, I left off there. It was uh, amateur radio field day, so I uh, put two or three projects through the mill here. Anyway, um, here's the background noise. I got some uh, construction work going on in the house. It'll be going on for a while. Uh, I uh, did the calculations for uh, the drilling the holes on the uh, on the banjo bolt. I have I have to drill uh, some holes right in here that way that match the area of a, a quarter inch hose. Uh, this is larger than quarter inch, but it's going to have a quarter inch. Uh, Who's feeding it so that's the maximum flow, right? All right, I did the calculation. Uh, pi r squared equals area. Uh, the uh, diameter is 0.25 inches, quarter inch. Half of that is 0.125. Pi times 1.125 times 0.125 or pi r squared. Uh, gave me a 0.049 inch area for a quarter inch uh, diameter uh, hole. So half of that, and I rounded off uh, 0.049 divided by 2, I rounded off 0.025. So uh, that area, uh, 0.025, how do you find the drill diameter. Well, I uh, took the formula, pi r squared equals area. I had the area, 0.025. I needed the uh, the radius, and hence the diameter. So it would be uh, uh, 0.025 the uh, uh, area divided by pi, then you find the square root of that, and that should give you the radius. Came out to 0.089, which means two times that, I drill approximately 0.177 drill. I guess I should do a graphic to show you that. <laughs> and a 0.177 drill, looking at my handy uh, chart, a 0.177 oh that's a number 16 drill well I checked my math a couple of times and it didn't seem intuitively correct that you had to drill 2.1 2 times 1.77 to get the same area of a 0.25 drilled hole but that's that's the way it works out and it's because of the squares and all that stuff of, uh, of area. But, uh, so I have to drill 0 0.177 twice to get the area of a 0 0.250 hole. Now to do the drilling. Well, I have to switch my collet. I'm putting a uh, 3 8 uh, I guess they're called R8 uh, collet in my mill. Slips up in there in a keyway, and then you tighten the screw on top. And since it's a collet, that's how you tighten the piece that's in there. And in this case, I'm using a uh, uh, a drill chuck. I actually, came off an old electric drill, and I uh, turned down this part to 3 8 inch, so it fits right in there. And that's uh, going to allow me to use. Uh, my chuck key to uh, do this drill operation. I'm going to use a center drill to start the hole because it's on a radius and it would just wander if you tried to drill it directly. Enco number 30 mil drill and I love it. 
They're still making these. Made in China. You loosen this uh, nut right here, this uh, screw right here. And that allows you to move the motor in, which loosens the belts. I had it on a real slow speed, so I have to completely change, take the belts off and swap the bottom one for the top one. Let that one sit. That one off. Put this one on. Back and tighten that, and that tightens your belts. Oh, yeah, that's good. Well, no special setup here. I uh, kind of eyeballed that in place for level. Uh, just put it in and got it resting against this so it doesn't push down. I can use the flats on the, uh, on the bolt itself. Eyeball in the drill. Get it down uh, close to it. Lock it in place. Let's move it over until it's just about on center. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I think I'll drill it there. Now without moving it, I'm going to of course put the uh, 177 drill in there, the number 16, because that was the center drill. Okay, got the center drill hole. Decided to drill straight on through, saved myself a step. And uh, so there I got uh, the whole drill through and that uh, basically the uh, the bolt is finished. I have to clean up the deburr, deburr it a little bit and uh, work on the uh, work on the banjo part.